Hello, feisty friends. Welcome to the show. My name is Ashley and this is Sarah True. We are Iron Women Live from Kona, powered by Wahoo. You're a Wahooligan. I am a Wahooligan. Full full on Wahooligan. No question. That's hard to say. It is. <laughs> Maybe I'm just tired. I don't know. The heat's getting to me. Probably. Oh my gosh. I can't even imagine all the things you've been doing here in Kona. And I'm going to hear all about it coming right up after our intro. pineapple challenge I have not but we're already bonding over here <laughs> um yeah pineapple looks good on you oh thank you I think it smells quite good on me too <laughs> well I have to tell you we brought a brand new pineapple for you Ooh. yeah because a few of them have been like pineapple down so um <laughs> so how do you feel about balancing the pineapple uh on your head I will do my best. You will do your best? Okay, so I thought that um, because you work so much on your posture, like... Um, <laughs> Pressure's on, man, here. <laughs> on running and cycling, and you do so much, like, with the Zwift and the Wahoo. I feel okay. like there's a lot of, like, core strength that's involved there. Well, really, we're throwing back to, like, when I was eight and took dance lessons, you know? So I I'm either... There's a reason why I'm... In triathlete not a dancer uh, put it that way oh my gosh I didn't know you were a dancer <laughs> didn't everybody take dance lessons at some point oh man in my town you're either a soccer player or a dancer and I was a soccer player I did both until like you've reached the age where you have to choose and I realized that I had no aptitude for dance <laughs> really? I have a lot of enthusiasm yeah a lot if you were at the Wadi Inc. party last year, post Kona, you know I have a lot of enthusiasm about dancing, not so much on the aptitude side of things. But yeah, I get I get down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> With my bad self. Yeah, yeah. So more of like a ballet or more of like a hip hop or like whatever's on, you got you got it. Uh, I call it interpretive dance. <laughs> it's, what, it's however I'm feeling. You know, I just channel it into movement. Oh my god, so I'm hoping you can channel this pineapple into something really awesome. Well, if not, you know, we, we will forever be bonded together, so that's that's the important part. So I have to now put it on my head, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Be, become one with the pineapple, really. Can she do it, folks? Oh my gosh. This is, this is an exceptionally round pineapple, I swear. <laughs> How um, long... Uh, so channeling your inner self. Woo, woo, woo. No, no. Oh my gosh, you might have it though. So I have like a flat part in the back of my skull. Okay, find the flat part. I'll try that. <laughs> <laughs> it's really flat back there. Oh my gosh. Oh uh, yeah. It, oh man, that sure might looks, be a thing. But yeah, this is why I, I could never pull like Heather Jackson haircut because it's round, 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 flat right there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That might be really good for the pineapple challenge and I bet you it makes you extra arrow. But we're wearing helmets. Right. So I'm going to try this again. Okay. Oh, and there you have it, folks. Sarah has a flat part of her head. <laughs> if you were wondering, <laughs> we found it. <laughs> and it's exceptionally good for balancing pineapples. <laughs> I love that you didn't even have to practice. You just like knew where the flat spot was and you went right for it. Yeah, as a kid I fell the grocery cart when I was a baby. So <laughs> I think it was that. It's it's an it, advantage. It explains a lot of things about me. <laughs> Competitive advantage. Okay, you can totally take it off now if you want. Oh really? Okay. You don't want to have an interview <laughs> with me looking down at a crotch? <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, you can. Do I need to have eye contact? Okay, is that less creepy? Lo a lot less creepy. You, can, you okay. can do what you want. Gotta fix my hair now. Yeah. <laughs> you have beautiful hair, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's all the chlorine, you know? It really makes it luscious and <laughs> healthy. <laughs> all the competitive advantages you have with your body you didn't even know. I know, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, speaking of the competitive advantages that you have, there's a race happening next weekend. 
And oh, you're here for it. Do we need to have a serious interview now? <laughs> as I stroke my pineapple? No. Continue. Continue. Um, but I do want to know, you know, how your flathead or your chlorine soaked hair yeah. could help you um, win the race on Sunday, oh. Saturday. If not, there's always a dance party afterwards. There's always a dance party afterwards. I'm going to win that. So watch out, all you. All you women on the start line, I will take you in a dance battle. That's all I know. <laughs> but yeah, we, we, uh, we Those kinda, sound like fighting words. We have to get through an Iron Man first, but you know, if I'm still walking, just you wait. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. I know that like after Frankfurt this year, you were like on Zwift the next day. Oh yeah, you know, gotta get back training. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so cool to see you come back over and over and over again. And, and maybe that comes from your dance skills or something, but you just like, you're a fighter and um, there's nobody quite like you. That's what my parents always said. <laughs> oh, thank you. There is nobody like me. I'm a unique, you know, individual, yeah. as are we all, Yeah. you know? Yeah, no, so here's the thing about Iron Man, right? It, it rewards resilience and just getting back up there when you fall down. Um, hopefully you don't actually fall down. Yeah, that's you know? always the hope. That's always the hope. But, uh, you know, you got to dust yourself off, learn the lessons you can, yeah. and keep on going, plugging away. Yeah, and we hope that when you do fall down, like, you can get back up. Yeah. Yeah, and make it to the finish line. And, like, if you need help, you get help. Too fresh. <laughs> but, yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so this race is your second time here. Last year you were fourth. You were, like, so close to that podium. And, like, obviously the top, you know, four or five do not get, like, that automatic spot qualifier. Right? You've had to, like you know, make it happen. I heard on the new show, Fitter and Feisty, that your coach is not a fan of like over racing. Nope, not at all. No. Um, so like, has that ruined your relationship or has it been like a feistier relationship? No, so he's, he's from Luxembourg. So he's, you know, a pretty serious German, well, not German. He's a Luxembourger. Um, a Luxembourger. A Luxembourger. Yes. Uh, Does he say burger? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I should ask him. Um, I'm always... Yeah, never mind. Anyway, so, uh, like, he he's very data-driven, data you know, very pragmatic. Yeah. And I am, like, the feisty, fiery American who's, like, an optimist. I'm like, put me back out there, coach. So we're a good yeah. balance. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, have you always had coaches that are, like, have that balance with you? In... I don't know you like this is the best coaching relationship I've had because I think you know we we do complement each other really well yeah yeah that's amazing um you came from ITU where you like really like it seemed like you loved ITU like it was really really fun and then like after a disappointing Olympics you found Iron Man mm -hmm. and then you were like love with Iron Man yeah. and then like this year like have you felt disappointed is that like kind of like a cycle or is it like exciting uh I still love the distance. I love the community. Um, I think I'm less impressed with uh, some of the organizing side of it, the corporate side of it. Yeah. The, the people I mean, it's are. a business. It's a business. Yeah, it's a business. And I think there are improvements that could be made that would benefit athletes quite a bit. Mm -hmm. We'll put it that way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> totally. And I think that they should have a feedback form. I absolutely think there should be uh, more accountability and more feedback um, from the from the shareholders, which are the athletes, and less from the or from the stakeholders and less from the shareholders. Yeah, you know, we are stakeholders as athletes, um, but sometimes financial decisions drive organizations more than what necessarily might be good for the sport yeah wow the we just got deep yeah we went from pineapple balancing to structural issues with an iron man <laughs> yeah um which are all important things though you yeah. know like it's important to have that balance between fun and feisty totally and 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 fierce and all whole bunch of f words <laughs> um <laughs> only the good ones though <laughs> Rini asked me what does af stand for and i was like hmm should i tell her she doesn't know? She didn't know. Oh, come on, she knows. She's just playing coy. I, she was, she's like, I don't know. And I was like, well, I think of some other words for AF, like, and fun. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she knows. She knows. <laughs> Um, but yeah, structural issues. And the, you know, the other thing, I was so happy I got to talk to you before Kona got so crazy. And, um, and one of the things we were talking about was like how everybody has an opinion on social media. Yeah. Um, so one of the really interesting things that I've found within Iron Man is the vast majority of people are awesome and supportive. And like, we have this great community. But then you have some mansplaining out there. <laughs> And there's a strong current of mansplaining where you're like, dude, seriously, you don't know the context of like my data, my nutritional information, like nothing. And you're just going to throw out this very bold conclusion hmm. and you will die on that sword, even though like, or I guess the expression <laughs> is die on that hill. But like, it's so funny to me because we we overvalue our own perspective and i think um that does come across sometimes where it's like pump the brakes man how about you find out more information before you come to a conclusion yeah. rather than just like throwing something out there like you bonked well, like do you actually know that i bonked do you know my nutritional plan how can you come to that conclusion like yeah. so it's been interesting it's been i think it all comes from a good place yeah there's some know-it-alls out there, let's be honest. But, like, most of those people comes from a good place. It's just, I think sometimes we need to value information more than opinion. Totally. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, no, and that's a big statement, but it's really important because I think on social media, like, we put ourselves out there, right? It's part of the business. You totally. have to be, like, there for your sponsors and there for, yeah. like, you know, the business. Um, and then people are welcome to have an opinion. Um, but how do you deal with that from a personal side of being like, okay, I'm not going to let this get to me. Cause I think this is really relatable, like yeah. in all contexts to other people. I think, I think you just have to have thick skin. So, uh, I, skin. Oh yeah. <laughs> you got it. Just, just like this guy thick skin. Um, no, I think in, you, you choose your forum. Mm -hmm. So I've learned you stay off of, uh, actual forums because they're pretty negative. Mm -hmm. uh, YouTube comments, like people are really negative. Oh my gosh. Twitter's a little better. Instagram's the most positive space, I'd say. Like, okay. People are generally pretty nice on, on Instagram. So yeah. thank you, Instagram people, for being so pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> have, you, have you heard of TikTok? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm a little old for TikTok. Do you think so? I think so. I think it's like you have to be like 22 and You're younger. like younger than me. But still, I mean, <laughs> I don't what know. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ashley's gonna get offended. <laughs> no, not at all. Like, I I need to give TikTok more of a try, apparently. Yeah, all the fun people are on TikTok. Oh, really? Mm. I'm done. I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, Sarah, I'm so grateful for your time. We're sitting here, you guys, watching this beautiful sunset and, um, you know, hanging out with our pineapple. I feel like he almost deserves a name now. Um, thank you for taking the time. This is Edgar. Edgar the pineapple. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's a good name choice. Oh, you know, it, we, we've just been bonding. You so, have yeah. this entire time. <laughs> um, friends and fans, we really want to thank our sponsor. Um, Sarah, you're a Wahooligan. Mm -hmm. um, you're also a noon athlete. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What are you going to, are you going to have noon out there on course with you? Yes. Um, I will race with noon in my hydration unit and then on the run um, for my special, my Pro bottles. Yep. Amazing. Do you have the noon high, um, endurance one? I do. I, lemon lime is my favorite. Really? Yeah. Oh, uh, mm, citrus mango. Oh, that's a tough one. Have you tried the strawberry caffeinated one? Yes, I the stra the strawberry lemonade yeah. to be precise. Yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh, my caffeine! <laughs> yeah. It is quite good, yeah. Yeah, I think that one's my favorite. So you're a lemon okay. lime fan. Yeah, or citrus mango. That's a tough one. Okay. Yeah. Mixed berries good, and but, like, I feel in the heat, you want something a little, you know, fresher, I guess. Oh, my gosh. You know what Stacey Sims told me? If you put a Mentos or a Tic Tac in your mouth, it yeah. has, gives you, like, the placebo effect of actually cooling. Yes, absolutely. I've... Don't don't tell my competition that. Oh, shh. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> And I think you have no no competition. You are too fun and too feisty to let anybody get to you. And um, your skin's really soft, by the way, but not. Oh, I, I, apparently, it's thick as well. So, yeah. um, <laughs> fans, now is your time to share this video, have a watch party, give it.
it a thumbs up. If you love Sarah and you love me, now is that time to do that. Um, Sarah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Noon. Thank you to Wahoo. And thank you to Athletic Rewards for being our sponsors on this show. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon. Hey, Ashley, how's it going? Hey, Taylor, I just got off my kicker. That's awesome. How was it? Oh, man, you didn't even hear me. I was so silent. That's super impressive. I didn't hear you at all. Yeah, yeah. It was like I was cruising down the Queen K, but actually I was like just in the other room. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. All I got to say is wahoo!